Hello, Aries. Mars ingress into Gemini on the 12th and Mars opposing Saturn on the 15th may cause some aggressive ideations, aggressive thinking, and trying to force others to do what one thinks they should do rather than focusing on oneself and just doing it yourself. So this is people trying to put things on to other people, trying to force other people to do things they don't want to do. That's what these aspects may cause this month, Aries. Now let's see how your ruling planet of Mars affects you this month, Aries. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel, and thank you for joining us. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Aries angel, Marie de El, who resides over your cardinal fire nature, and these are his messages for you in love, money, and health. First, of course, the most important, the love transmission from Marie de El. The guardian angel speaks to you, Michael or Michael, through your teaching angel, Melchidel, to make it the fire angel, Michael, speak to you through your specific Aries angel, Melchidel. Now, the love transmission is going to, of course, be affected by the full moon in Scorpio. That's on the third, and that can cause, and will cause, a creative urge to search. You're going to want to be more creative. And what Aries may have a tendency to do is to focus on what other people are doing creatively rather than what on uh, what Aries is doing creatively. So rather than focusing on what somebody else should be doing, Aries needs to focus on the self. And that will help all the creativity that is going to come out whether you want it to or not. Again, with this full moon in Scorpio on the third. Aries is very creative. But the speed, because of your cardinal fire nature with which you have ideas, may uh, cause you to not be able to bring these into fruition in the physical world simply because the physical world is so annoyingly slow. The spiritual and the, the, the part of the self that is fire, especially this, this cardinal fire, this initiatory spark that Aries is, is wonderful for other people and wonderful for the self, but it, the resistance to the slowness of the physical plane and to the digging in and just really making things work no matter what, working through things no matter what, that aspect is highly irritating, highly annoy annoying, and, and it, may, it may cause some anger, Aries, in you this month. When it comes to your personal relationships, be they love or, or friends or, or your family. So simply understand that you're going to get a lot of very good ideas at the beginning of the month because of the full moon again in Scorpio on, on the 3rd. So you want to try to understand and utilize these aspects in a way that will help you ground these aspects and find out the parts of your chart that where you have earth signs and that will help or even water signs and that will help because water and earth are of course the feminine aspects and air and fire of course the masculine aspects so you want to try to work with your own inner earth and inner uh, water signs and try to bring all these things to fruition and of course air too we need all four elements to bring anything into fruition do we not now on the 10th is Mother's Day so don't forget mom <laughs> on Mother's Day, it's going to be very important. All right? On the 12th, Mars ingress into Gemini will affect your love life and that you'll tend to overthink things and tend to jump to conclusions. And we all do that. 
And if your Gemini uh, friends have a lot of ideas for you, uh, you might want to go ahead and listen to them, but you're going to be sort of beyond that because your 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 Gemini your Gemini friends are going to try to get you to do things. Again, other people are trying to get you to do things. You're trying to get them to do things. That's because air and fire uh, sort of work together well. Air feeds uh, fire, and fire feeds off of air. But the air can also blow the fire out. Fire can be snuffed by the earth signs. So what you want to do is understand that as you're trying to tell people your ideas, Aries, other people are going to either try to blow it out or stuff it or maybe dump a whole bunch of water on it. So what Aries may benefit from is your fire friends, fire sign friends, like, you know, Leo's and, and Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is very good because they have a, a watery aspect to them. And Leo's are good because they have a contained functional aspect to their fire. So it would be helpful to attempt to try to uh, get some cooperation with fire friends. Because that's what's missing. Now, so again, don't jump to conclusions. On the 17th, the new moon in Taurus. That's going to promote you wanting to have more of your friends that are, I don't want to, I don't want to say, I don't want to, you know, ruffle anybody's feathers here, but we're talking about the middle class or the working class coming back into popularity and coming back into fashion. Again, the middle class, the working class, ordinary folk, common folk, have been not really very popular. Everybody's wanted to either give all their attention to the upper class, that pretty much gets everything for free, or the lower class or the poor class that gets pretty much gets everything for free. The middle class that works is pretty much what's been uh, decimated. And and some people like to work, some people don't. But if everybody works at what they love or just does what they love to do, then, of course, people uh, work and what you love to do all blends in, does it not? And then all of this these issues about money. Money is just one way to exchange services so that we don't kill each other over food. If there's enough food, then there's no problem, right? But everybody needs to do the work they were put here to do. You can call it work. You can call it fun. You can have fun with your work. You can work at what you think is fun, or do what you love to do, whatever. It brings in the old concept of do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law, love under will. But some people feel that that's the other way around, depending on where uh, one wants to place the lion or strength or one wants to place justice or your willpower. So, you know, different people have different ideas. Tomato, tomato, is it all that important? We have to have a view askew a little bit or there's nothing to seek, nothing to do. We wouldn't be able to exist. So there's all of these uh, wondrous ideas. Again, money is just one way to exchange and trade, barter. Uh, does anybody need anybody else? Maybe not. But it's no fun without other people, right? All right, now, money on the 15th. Mars opposing Saturn. Litigation, legal contests could become mean-spirited. And you could find that people try to uh, engage in hostile takeovers in the business arena. Uh, they're not really going to do very well, once again, because the common folk, again, are coming back into fashion. 
And there's a lot of common folk in the world, believe it or not. And again, they're coming back into uh, being popular. Those who are just middle of the road. So it's not really going to come to much fruition to have all of this litigation. It'll just come up as frivolous and the people filing these suits will end up having to pay. On the 24th, Mars trine Cirrus. That could cause the great universal divine mother to cause economic war if people get out of line. Therefore, everybody should really just uh, pretty much mind their own P's and Q's. I mean, it doesn't really, you know, everybody can manage themselves and people can exchange and, you know, you've been given the tools to manage yourself. So just simply manage yourself and all will be well with you. Th this is going to come more and more and more into an issue because of Mother's Day in May. All right? Now, health. On the 12th, Mars ingress Gemini. This, Malkidel says that this could cause Aries to end up with headaches and sleep disorders. These sleep disorders and, and headaches could bring you into becoming more and more agitated or also, people, you know, people who say that somebody's forgetful for whatever reason, half the time it's just because they're overwhelmed or they're being hassled by other people because when people hassle you because they're being hassled then you can tend to get overwhelmed and you know get all beside yourself but what you need to do if you find yourself upset is just center yourself before you go to do something and be patient and here's one thing it's okay once in a while to be you can be a little tardy sometimes if nobody's paying you, if you're being paid, it's important to not be tardy. But if you're not being paid for something, you can be late. <laughs> okay? So it depends on whether or not somebody's paying you. If they're not paying you, do whatever you want. <laughs> you don't have to have anybody lord it over you, again, if they're not paying you. So do what you, what, you know, only put pressure on yourself or only fall into the kind of temptation to be perfect if you're being paid. If you're not being paid, relax a little and do it at your own pace. And you'll do much better. On the 15th, watch the perfectionism. On the 15th, Mars opposing Saturn can make Aries clumsy. So on the 15th, you know, and then before and after, because it's like a, a ripple in a pond when you throw a stone in it, Time is like that. So that's the day when, when the angel strikes, yeah? So you want to sort of understand that these ripples are less intense around that time, but they're still there around that time. And again, it's not to be paranoid. It's to be mindful rather than careful. And you'll do very well, Aries. Okay. Now for your afterglow, for some of the important aspects that we would like to highlight for you this month. And your little heads up on these days. Aries on May 12th, Mars ingress Gemini. So Mars begins the sojourn through the sign of Gemini. Again, some overheated thinking. On May 15th, Mars opposing Saturn. Mars opposing Saturn. That could get you into some strange litigation, even custody or marriage battles, that kind of thing, with legal lawsuits, that kind of thing. Just be mindful of that and don't get too aggressive because if you get too aggressive, they'll use that against you. You know that. You should know better than that. All right, May 24th, Mars trying Cirrus. Again, that's a time when if you uh, try to fool Mother Nature... She could cause uh, economic war or sanctions. So 
Be careful of getting Mother Nature upset in May, because Mother's Day on the 10th. On May 25th, Mars square Neptune. Mars square Neptune can be an, an aspect that causes one to go ahead and try to get in touch again with people that they feel they've gotten out of touch with or kind of bygone friends that they've been out of touch with for a while. And on May 27th, Mercury conjunct Mars. Now, Mercury conjunct Mars will simply cause Aries to become more, uh, what do you want to say, uh, focused is a good word. More intelligent, but more focused around that time. Watch the perfectionism. Okay, Aries? All right. Thank you for joining us. Aries, I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel, and join us again next month.